Hello, so today we're gonna do a basic beagle grooming video. This is just grooming 101 for dog shows. You can do this to clean up your dog if you're not showing it, but basically it is for people who show their beagle. Um, there's a lot of different ways to groom a beagle. You can do it uh, about 10 different ways. And there's other videos on uh, YouTube that you can look for, but this is the way that I groom my beagle. This is Rebel. He's a gold grand champion at AKC and he's long retired. He's almost nine years old and he volunteered <laughs> to be our demonstrator today. So these are the tools that I always have handy whenever I'm grooming a beagle. There's lots of different clippers that you can use. There's lots of different, um, you know, ones that are plug-in, ones that are rechargeable. This is my favorite. It's the wall Bav bravura, excuse me. And this one actually can work plugged in and also on battery. So it's my favorite kind because sometimes I forget to plug my clippers in. And so I can actually just plug it in and go ahead and do it and when they're not charged. So um, there's, it's actually adjustable on the bottom and it goes all the way from a nine where you see that it's down here all the way up to a 40, which is way up here. So we're gonna use basically just the nine and the 40 today. I always have a comb available so I can brush through his hair and make sure that the hair is sitting down flat. Rebel's already had his bath. I did not think that needed to be included in on the video. So we went ahead and gave him his bath because you never want to groom a dog that's dirty. So he is clean. He is blown out with a blow dryer. If you do not have a blow dryer, that's okay. You can sit them in their crate or let them dry in the sun. Uh, it's pretty warm here today, so I use the blow dryer. I also use thinning shears. I am not astute on thinning shears, but these are the ones that I use and I like them. I'm not sure where I bought them. Uh, probably at a dog show, you can get them online. Um, and I also use this particular thinning knife. It's a Franklin Fine. There's also a Franklin Course, so you can see it says F and the course is C. So these are the main tools that I use. I did, my show people will gasp, bring out my Furminator, because on this particular dog, he has a lot of coat. I do not ever use a Furminator on a dog that I'm actively campaigning, um, but since this dog lives in my house as my pet, I did bring the, the Furminator. Um, this is the tool that should be used for the same reason, but it's a lot more difficult on the dog that has this much coat and on a dog that's retired and does not care to be groomed all the time anymore. So that's the introduction. We're gonna work on Rebel next. So the first thing I like to do with any dog that I'm putting clippers on is do a sanitation cut. And so you're gonna have your clippers on 40 and I always start with the feet. So these are just the basic things, especially if you don't use your clippers very often, it gives you a chance to get familiarized with them and how they feel. So I get into the feet and I clip all the hair that just sticks out of the feet. Um, this hair picks up dirt, so you want to make sure that you do this as often as possible. It also, some dogs carry a lot of coat inside of their feet right here, so I like to keep the coat um, off so that their feet can stay nice and tight. So that's the front, and then we'll go to the back. The front, normally, excuse me, that was the back. This is the front. Normally, I would do this on the other side, but since we're videoing, I wanted to give you an idea of what this looked like. I place my thumb here to hold this hair down so I don't go too high up. And I get all this in a round foot. And make sure I dig in and get the hair out of there. Rebel is actually groomed uh, around three weeks ago. This, is the, this dog carries more coat of my dogs um, than any of them. And so this is a lot more coat than the average beagle. He's heavily double coated, which is correct and he has a very nice hard coat. So there's a lot more hair here and it's fluffier than usual because he was just spades and blown out. So we're gonna continue on with our sanitation cut. I make sure the tail is nice and high so that way you do not nick this area. It's very sensitive back here, but I just go up the side with the 40 blade again and clean this area out. Again, this is mostly for sanitation reasons but also um, when this tail is nice and up in the ring, that looks very clean. Next, we're gonna do the bottom. Um, I'm going to come on the other side for the video. 
I'm gonna first do this flank area. They usually have a lot of hair right here. And again, it's still 40. You wanna make sure you have it on 40 and get as close as you can, rounding off that area there. And then since this is a male, you have to clean up around this area as well. And you do have to do both sides because even though it looks really nice on this side, it's still the same on the other side, it's still hairy. So you gotta do both sides. So I'm gonna get in this flank. Again, Rebel's been groomed in the past few weeks, so he's not quite as hairy as he would be. So I usually stop, I felt where the the rib comes up here and that's where I stop with this and I can thin that out a little bit with thinning shears. So that's the only thing we're gonna do with a 40 blade. We're now gonna switch it all the way to the nine blade. And I start with the rear and I actually go against the grain just here in the flank area. We're just getting all of this hair on the inside and then straight up here. And then on the other side, we're going to go against the grain again. And that leaves rubble nice and clean. The rest of this area, we're actually going to do with the thinning shears. So that's the only thing we're going to do with the clippers. So we'll come around the front. And on the front of the dog, I always start with the head and with the whiskers because I work from the top down. So the whiskers, you want to bear very lightly get in there. You don't want to dig in with the hair. So I hold the lips back so I can get the whiskers. Taking your dog's whiskers off is completely optional, but it does leave a cleaner look, especially on a beagle. I don't do them on my sporting dogs, but this is a beagle and I like them to have a very clean tailored look. So I actually go against the grain here. It's only a nine blade. So as long as you're light and you're not digging in, then you shouldn't be taking too much hair off. If you're not comfortable, then don't use the clippers to do whiskers. You can always use a horse shave, which you can buy at a, a feed store. You could buy at the dog show. Okay, so that's pretty much how we're gonna do the whiskers. Um, I heavily chalk the dog's faces uh, whenever I'm going to show them. So any clipper marks or whatever you would be able to see. So that's how I do the face. So now for the neck area, I have to actually take the noose off. If you're in a public place, you want to be very careful that your dog does not get loose. And now I'm going to go with the hair, with the grain rather than against the grain. And so I'm a lefty. So if you'll get, come over here with the camera, you'll be able to see it better. So I just peel back the lips like this and I start all the way at the top and you want to try to keep the skin tight and not pick up your clippers at all if you can help it. And I go all the way almost underneath the belly. Again, Rebel's really hairy. Not all dogs have a lot of hair down there. I'm kind of going against the grain here, but when I get over to the cowlick areas, I'm just gonna do this a little because I'm trying to make a pattern. I will go back with my um, thinning shears and take some of that hair out. that's a lot of hair that rubble carries and so this is definitely a necessary um, evil when it comes to showing this particular dog. <laughs> 